again we're uh, in the earlier video we were coming up the uh, incline uh, empty which now we're loaded uh, coming back the other way uh, which is actually easier because now we've got weight uh, you know on the on the tires it's holding us to the asphalt well snow and ice a little bit better we uh, Here's a little bit of an incline again uh, before the big downgrade starts. The downgrade, it's gonna be about 7% for quite a ways. Uh, we won't have these conditions all the way down. Uh, it'll start to clear up here once we drop about another 1,500 feet to 2,000 feet. But again, we're in 10th. We're starting to lose momentum here. Um, you know, again, we uh, got a, our RPMs up a little bit before we hit this incline. And now we're gonna have to downshift it. I wanna do it right around 12, so it bumps us down back up to 15. But we got 102,000 on here, gross. We're actually gonna have to take her down to eighth. Losing momentum quick. But again, you know, on these freight liners, it would tell us if the wheels are spinning. We're sticking to the ground really good right now. Downshift again. We're right at 15 here. We're probably gonna be able to climb the rest of this and stay at about 1500 RPM all the way up. Again, no wheel spin. Um, now, we've been feathering the, the brake and uh, feathering the accelerator. Um, here we're actually romping on it a little bit better than that. We don't have it to the floor, but we're giving it good power, and you know that's keeping us at a good RPM range here. And again, no wheel spin, that's the key to it all. Um, you know, if we were wheel spinning, we'd have to downshift again, we'd have to run a little lower RPM here than what we're running. Um, and uh, again, you know, no chains. These conditions aren't that that bad. Uh, you know, it's about a couple inches compact snow, not even at this point, uh, with a little layer of ice under it. <clears throat> now we're coming to the top of the peak. I want to get my RPMs down just a little bit. Again, at this point, feathering the accelerator here. I'm doing a pretty safe speed. Like I said in the previous video, you know, I'd rather go a little slower. Because, uh, yeah, if I, I'm not going to stop this thing. You know, especially not on the dime. We're going to hit something. And I'd rather hit one of these little snow banks here, something going 30, 35 miles an hour, uh, than hitting it any faster than that. You know, we get lucky and not damage anything and, you know, not get injured, hopefully. Uh, now again, this, this down downgrade here, we're gonna feather start feathering the brake. I'm gonna stay in ninth. Now got my foot over the brake. We are uh, we're, we'll keep it right at about 1,400. Now you see how we're building up some air here. I want to keep it uh, just a hair under 20, uh, 20 pounds. Again, I mean I'm I'm feathering it a few seconds and then I'm letting off of it. Now we don't want to get our brakes hot here. Now again, they tell you not to use your jig. On these freight liners, we're in a 2018. We've got uh, a three-level jig system. And like I said in the previous video, I don't really want to use my jigs on anything higher than like a level one. And again, that uh, 
we want to just feather it for a couple seconds, get our speed down, get our RPM down. And we're coming into a turn here, so I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to downshift her again. To uh, eighth here, you see the RPMs revving. When I was in ninth, we were having to lay on the brakes. It was a little, uh, a little too loose, and uh, we were having to lay on the brake a little more than I'd like. You know, right now I've got my foot in the ready position, but I'm not actually using it. The motor's doing the work. We haven't lost traction at all. We got a lot of weight pushing us here. Still off the brake, still off the brake. RPMs are getting a little high. We're picking up speed. Now I'm gonna just lightly stab it a little bit here. Again, feathering it. See how low we're keeping on our air? I'm letting off again, give these brakes a second to cool down. Now we were off the brakes. Now again, we're gonna just slightly build up air. Kind of feather stab it there for a few seconds. Get the uh, speed down hopefully to about 25 or so right before the sharper turn and we're good here now we're just gonna kind of let off the brake there so that we're not getting hot we're gonna start picking up a little speed still letting the brakes cool now the other, you know, going uphill, we weren't running nearly as high RPM. You know, we were keeping it 13 to 14. Uh, before a little bit of an incline, we'd maybe get it up to 16, 17. Now, when we're loaded, we've got that weight keeping us stuck to the uh, to the ground. You know, it's pushing down on it. We got good friction, good traction, so we can run our RPMs a little bit higher here. Again, I got it in eighth. I'm not having to use the brake at all right now. We're at 1,500 RPM. <clears throat> Keeping right at about 25. Now, we're going to start picking up a little speed, I would guess, after we get around here. Yeah, those brakes have been cooling for a second. We haven't had to use them at all. You can see, I mean, no air at all, no pressure whatsoever on the brakes right now. Picked up to about 35. I'm going to start building a little bit of air, feather stabbing her a little bit there. I mean, we... I, you know, doing this, keep putting her in manual, putting this automatic Freightliner in manual is the best way to go. Uh, you're you're going to, you know, prevent the transmission from shifting and changing your torque um, on your drives there. We haven't, we haven't gotten this truck uh, above 15 uh, PSI on the air at all coming down. It's a 6% grade, uh, you know, descending here from... Uh, almost 5,000 feet there at the start. Now we're running real, uh, real high here. I'm gonna start hitting the brake again. Now on this stretch, we've used it a little more than I'd like. I'm gonna get her calmed down a little bit, a little bit of a straightaway, and I'm just gonna let her roll right now. Give, uh, get off the brake and let her cool down. May even go to ninth here now that we're on a straightaway. Keep those RPMs where we like them here. About 14. I'm 
pick up speed quicker in ninth too so we're safe through this little stretch always think ahead look ahead like I said earlier and I know I can keep this for a minute we're gonna pick up some speed and I'm gonna um, right before we go into a little bit of a steeper decline and, and go into a turn which will be coming up um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna feather the brake again and get to a lower speed uh, and then downshift again to eighth said on the way up especially on the way up we really wanted to catch that gravel uh, you know a lot of times by now it'll be kicked uh, you'll see it looks a little heavier on the center you know we don't have any oncoming traffic catch that gravel I mean the more gravel you catch the better uh, you know even lo loaded unloaded empty it doesn't matter incline decline just use that gravel you know it's all, it's, all it can do is help you all right, we got quite a bit here I'm gonna keep the left side right on it we've got that bend coming up so now we're I'm gonna go down we've got it we feathered the brake again we're gonna downshift again eighth gear letting the motor do the work she's staying real sturdy not having to use the brake they're cooling down now again I like this it's a good RPM good speed we got again level one Jake, and we are just cruising down this thing. Now uh, here we go, RPM's picking up, speed picking up. Again, I'm on the brake, 15 PSI, feather stab it. Let me see how quick we start dropping off a little bit here. I'd like to get her back down to about 25. That way we can lay off the brake and uh, let it pick up a little bit of speed again and cool the brakes. not used the brakes here at all in the last 20 seconds we're just kind of rolling and now we're picking up speed again I'm gonna feather stab at 15 psi I mean it's just you kind of build it up to 15 by feather stabbing it build it up to 15 let off a little bit feather stab it to 15 let off a little bit get that speed back down to 25 28 you know and then we can lay off of it and let the brakes again cool as we uh, uh, just kind of roll downhill here we got a plow and the roads are uh, starting to look real good well, we're down at about well, down to about I want to say 2,500 feet uh, from 5,000. And uh, now I think I'm going to upshift it again just to keep the motor not revving so high for so long. It's good RPM. Good speed. We're starting to pick her up a little bit. Same thing in ninth gear. Well, build her up to about 15. Again, we have not went above 20 pounds of pressure at all on those brakes. They're staying nice and cool. And I think we're about in the safe territory here. I can put it back on Econ or performance mode here and uh, then really start just using the Jake. You know, level three, come off the rest of this mountain and uh, not even have to step on the brake. You guys, Again, uh, 
Thanks for tuning in. Um, coming down Oregon 58 here, Willamette Pass. Um, tune into one of my uh, future videos here. Coming up soon, we're gonna we're gonna do some chain driving um, on much worse conditions than this. Uh, when chain chain requirements out, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do that. Stay safe, you guys.